I'm Captain Monty Graham with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. This week we've still been running out towards the jetties. Uh, been a lot of good sized sheephead still hanging out here on the points on both sides, the south jetty and the north jetty. Uh, we get, get on these points in about 10 to 15 foot of water. We've been putting a one ounce weight right on top of the hook, a knocker, knocker rig putting live shrimp on. We've been catching good numbers of sheephead out here very quick. Uh, there have been slot reds uh, hanging out here. There's been the bull reds hanging out here. So there's still a lot of good fish hanging out at the end of the jetties. I've uh, been catching a few black drum. Early in the morning, if you'll work uh, right up to the point on each side of the jetties up against these rocks with just a free line in uh, with live shrimp, We've been getting good, uh, some very good, nice trout uh, early in the mornings or later part of the day. Um, but still a lot of good fish hanging on the north and the south end of the jetties. If you work all of these rocks coming down back towards Lillian, when you get down here to where it starts to bulkhead, there's been good numbers of black drum, there have been sheephead, been slot reds, working all of this edge right here onto this point. Uh, get done there, and if it's too rough to be at the jetties, I've been coming over here to Fina Docks and working all these barge docks through here around these pylons. There have been good numbers of uh, sheephead through here. Been catching a few, a few uh, speckled trout. Been catching uh, some bull reds up here. So there's still fish all around this barge dock. Also, if you come out in front. Uh, early in the morning with cut mullet or the big, big live shrimp. I've been using about a two ounce weight right on top of the hook and getting on this structure and just dropping them straight down. There have been sheephead, there have been slot reds, there have been bull reds. So a lot of fish still working around Port Aransas area right now. Uh, if there's too many boats and you don't want to be crowded, come on down here to Charlie's Pasture. Um, back behind these houses, up against these docks, there have been black drum, there have been redfish, there have been a lot of sheephead uh, still running all through here. If you'll go down towards Charlie's Pasture and start working these rock piles all the way down, uh, there's good sheephead, some big ones, 20 to 23 inches, all along these rocks. The main thing about fishing this, this channel is watch them ships. If you're up on these rocks tight and them big ships come, don't get washed up on the rocks. Get on out, pull out, let the ship go by, then get back in there. Uh, safety is first, so just be real careful. Uh, also, if you come into Island Orange, we've been coming down here around this bend right here. There's been good numbers of sheephead on both sides. There's been black drum. There's been the big black drum. Plus, there's been a pretty good school of a butterfly drum through here. Also, that tide has been so far out that there's some channels that come back into Coyote Cut. Um, that when that tide falls out, then fish fall right here uh, in this channel. And there's good oyster reefs on both sides, all the way back down to, towards these houses. So if you'll just work it slow and look for the the mud the mud stirs. Look for the tails. You'll see the fish activity. You'll be able to get you a box full of meat just staying just a few miles from Port Aransas. Those of you that like to fish Estes, uh, we've been coming down here to Big Bayou and coming in with that tide being as far out as it is, there's been good numbers of uh, redfish. There's been black drum working all around uh, Big Bayou. Same deal. You need to look for for the water movement, uh, have some kind of incoming or outgoing tide, and if you find the bait, you're going to find the fish. Um, with this tide being out as far as it has been, California Hole has been holding speckled trout all on the edges, on these on the edge in this grass. There's been good numbers of fish uh, holding around all around California Hole right now. Uh, if you don't find them there, and you got it, a skinny running boat, uh, the Klondikes uh, have been holding black drum and redfish all through here, depending which way that wind is, is blowing. Depends 
on how you want to get set up. But all around the Klondikes and the funnel and the old terminal right through here, there have been good numbers of redfish mixing with black drum all through here. And if you don't find them there and you're out there early in the morning and you want to find your trout first, well then best thing to do is tie on a popping cork with your favorite plastics or, or live shrimp and get on a good drift and put your drift sock out and just start drifting. There's good trout all through Estes right now. You might have to weed through the smaller ones to get to the bigger ones, but there are good numbers of fish coming into our bay system right now. Just remember, uh, our trout regulations have changed. So our trout sizes are from 17 inches to 23 inches, and you're only allowed three. So pay attention to your bag limits don't want anybody out there getting a ticket, so um, know what your limits are. Uh, also, if you come around Island 4 and 3 and 2 and 1 and find that bait through here with live mullet, there's a lot of good redfish, a lot of good schools around these islands right now. Another good place to ambush these fish, uh, there's an old shipwreck right here in Lillian. It's got them white buoys. Uh, there have been good numbers of sheephead working this uh, shipwreck right here. Just be careful. Usually just use a free line or a popping cork because that wreck comes up pretty high. Uh, good numbers of bull reds have been sheephead working all over this wreck. Uh, if you're just looking for your redfish, come on out, out here to the North Pass. And these little chains of uh, guts that come into these back lakes, uh, they have been... Them redfish have been pulling out of these back lakes, and they've been staging right here on this shoreline. So if you'll just get on this shoreline as skinny as you can, have you some live mullet or cut mullet, you'll find them redfish hanging all around these little guts that come into these little back lakes. But they're all out here up front. Thanks for watching. This is Captain Monogram.